Welcome to Bailey World by Zanke and my show starts right now. So today for our Beyblade show, this video is called the Beyblade Burst. Why Vorn unboxing slash review slash giveaway. Give it February 12, 2017. Proud to be for this for first and second. And yeah, I remember a while back we're talking about the copyright and the trademark names, and I was a little bit like Why Vorn and doing it like the names were weird. Anyways, um, they released Why Vorn. <sighs> There's no emblem in the middle. There's. It, it's, I, I wish it was a little bit clearer at least, but no, that's fine. So I was off the bay. Attack our Tommy ones on the bottom for comparison after. Nothing too special. Oh yeah, oh, can't forget that disclaimer. Requires launcher base stadium trademark available in Epic Rivals Battles at trademark. Sold separately, subject to availability. I mean, like, they aren't wrong, because I mean, well, technically you could get one of the boosters, or I think it's a two pack, you get a launcher. No, nah, well, actually no, the Rivals set's probably a little bit easier. Actually, I probably it's a two pack in the stadium. I, I think a two pack in the stadium would be more cheaper than the Rivals Battle set. But hey, now we got the back. The back, we got all these stats. It's not attack, defense, and stamina. Now it's attack, burst, defense, weight, agility, stamina. I'm not gonna be bothered to read that. Oh, I'll try The lair. Oh, hold on. No, excuse me. The forge disc is D10. And, well, hold on. The forge disc. What is it? I'm confused with the numbering on this one. Okay. Whatever, forge disc is there. I believe the forge disc is D10. If not, the disc is D10, and the bottom is TD02. Now let's open this, this bay. So now comparing part by part, original, oh, no, original. Um, new the Hasbro Bay Takara Tommy. Takara Tommy comes with stickers. Hasbro decided to paint it on, no stickers. Um, the difference between these two is that for the original one, there's a little bit of blue and yellow which are in transparency. Well, this one entirely is blue. And there's supposed to be something a little bit on the side. There's nothing on the side with the Hasbro one. Instead for, okay, the roundness is actually purple, right? For the Takaratami. The new one, um, the Hasbro one, I should say, is just like yellow around it, which is fine. I think that's actually kind of nice. Now, both of these are just arms, no difference. One's just shinier than the other because obviously it's newer. We got massive, massive this time is light blue, no transparency. Well, this one's more, you could say turquoise, more of a, a sort of greenish color for massive and I mean that's pretty much it and if you want to see the teeth for um, the new well actually when I say if you want to see the teeth you're basically just gonna get that QR code right there it says the QR code is literally just well there's not even a teeth I don't know why I said you want to see the teeth yeah um you want to see the the complete like flat part of the plastic there you go and if you want that QR code well you just got it early well, now let's just uh, go uh, fully assembled now. So now we're comparing uh, fully assembled. Um, surprisingly, the other one's actually pretty nice around it. The Akira Tommy one is nice. If only like this, the middle part wasn't just uh, purple, and if it was just transparent, that would have been what? What comes up? Wait, you can take, you can remove this purple. Leo's a legend. Okay, but. For now, the original product, it's just, um, it's purple, like, even, you gotta think, like, they could have probably, well, actually, probably more money to cut the part out, but, you know, still, you know, whatever. Those are the bottoms, we're gonna do a test launch now. Just, I had no idea that part was removable. Test launch, 3 to 1 line of rip. Just, uh, there you go. Colors are nice. I know well, they're nice for like a Hasbro Bay. Usually Hasbro Bays are a little bit like, like the first wave kind of stale colors, the new ones much better. Like honestly, I like the first wave, but like the second wave just knocks it out. And if I'm correct, isn't it, sorry. If I'm correct, isn't there gonna be a new sprites in S2 and like new versions of those? Yeah, probably it's gonna be like a different parts and everything. But I mean, that's pretty much it. Don't forget where I give it expires on May 12th, 2017. Probably this first and second. Type in the comments if you like this video, like about the bait itself. 
and thank you for watching.